Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing, patreon.com slash real macro. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. We're going to do a lot more of these videos on monetary system, macroeconomics, trading, investing. A lot of good stuff, especially for you young guys. You need to know this stuff if you're going to become traders and investors. All right. So, <clears throat> before we get started, you need to go back and watch some of the older videos. How... Uh, money is created and who creates it okay um, how money is destroyed <laughs> funny nobody ever talks about that <laughs> they should um, and is money debt okay watch those videos and uh, it's gonna make a lot more sense to you as to what we're talking about in this video okay so let's get started all right before we get to the next video where we talk about how government funds itself and how it creates money, um, we're going to answer a simple question. Okay, how does government spend? Does it just print dollars? Goes out to some magic money tree and starts plucking <laughs> dollars out of the sky, out of the tree, or you know, and then spends it? Or you know, we'll, we'll go, is a fractional reserve? Is it? You know, what is it? Well. Um, the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 made it illegal for the central bank, the Federal Reserve, to fund government. Okay, Why? Because some politicians, like Trump, <laughs> is going to come around and start buying votes. right? And then there will be too many dollars chasing the same amount of goods, and you end up with inflation, then hyperinflation, the economy collapses. Uh, you see what I'm... It doesn't make sense. right? It's stupid. You don't want that to happen. So they were smart enough to say, well, no, yeah. the central bank cannot fund the government. Okay. Now, why do people believe that the government can just simply pluck out dollars from some magic money tree or keystroke them or print them into existence and then go out and spend? Well, let's think about it. Just because the government can make something legal tender, okay, does not mean that uh, dollars, the legal tender, uh, can be created by government first. Okay, doesn't come from government. Just because they made it legal tender. Um, besides the fact that it's illegal, let's forget about legalities. Let's just say the government did willy-nilly print money into existence and then went out and spent it. You can't create value for those dollars. Government can't do it. Okay. If you could, we would all be driving around in Bentleys, right? Bugattis. Um, so these are three different concepts, three different things, and the people just kind of mush them together and intuitively think that just because the government can make the dollar legal tender, that they can just go out, print, and spend with value just because it comes from government. Not true. Okay? Now, this is very important to understand because we don't, <laughs> we don't want these kind of hang-ups in the next video where we're going to talk about how government funds itself and how it creates money. All right? So that's it for now. Uh, please click like and subscribe. All right, support the channel, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Check care. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.